Hi, I'm Donna DeVere, the original creator of the Folk Art Once Wrote Painting Technique. Welcome to the Let's Paint Studio right here at Plaid. Learning to paint has never been as easy as when I teach you how to load a brush with multiple colors where you can blend, shade, and highlight with one stroke of the brush. Our new program with Let's Paint Folk Art One Stroke this year is going to be all about learning how to paint 50 different types of flowers. And as you can imagine, 50 flowers makes the possibility endless to be able to paint floral designs. I'm thrilled that you've chosen to join me on this one stroke journey. So let's paint. So we're gonna paint our Yarrow today. And what we're gonna use is a reusable teaching guide and we're gonna use our folk art multi-surface paints. And the paint colors that we're gonna use are yellow ochre, wicker white, moon yellow, and then citrus green and sap green. We're going to use my Folk Art One Stroke brushes, a 12 flat and a two script liner. Now the beauty of these are they're coated so that you can work right on my actual size strokes here and right from your home. And you're gonna practice this, wipe it off and practice again as um, you're learning these strokes. And then we're gonna paint it right here on our surface. So it says right here what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your 12 flat and sometimes I have a blending so you can look and see if you, got, if you have the right shade. But we're gonna paint these stems in so that we can put the flower blossoms on top of them. So I've dampened this brush, laid it on a paper towel to get the excess moisture off. I'm picking up paint, citrus green and sap green by going really quick right here with pressure to load it. This is all, this is a double loader. It's all about helping you load and kind of controlling your strokes so you don't get muddy. Then you come here and you go one, two, and you're ready to stroke. Now you can see on here, I came in these areas. See my little finger? I'm, I'm steadying with my little finger and pulling sometimes the stroke with just the little finger, all right? So I want you to see that when you come down, we Y, put a Y right there, see that? So all of your stems should Y off of the main stem. And so that's what's happened right here. So some of them are in different spots, but when you have a cluster, it's kind of all together there. Then I'm gonna put some worker white and sap and citrus green. And then we're gonna practice by leaning, see the back, this is your chisel. So the back corner of this brush, I can lay down and pull. Now my white's not, look at white's not showing there. So let's, we want it to streak in here. I still need more white, there we go. All right, so, and then we're gonna go back, see the streaks, you wanna see all that nice streaks in there, all right? And we'll also come here and kind of look and see, that's actually the flower color, but I still, that works well to show you that color I was trying to achieve there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come put all these chisel edge stems so that we'll be ready for the blossoms to go on top of them. So you use a wet wipe or a dry paper towel and wipe those off and see that's what we're going to be painting today so what we want to do is come up here and do a cluster so of these stems so that's where we can put the blossoms right there and then we're going to pull a stem and pull it down now i can put a little stem with a few other blossoms there all right, and we're gonna have a couple more of these others. I don't know if they're seed pods or whatever, but they looked really nice inside this uh, set of stems and all. It was growing with the yarrow, so it must be part of the greenery. All right. So let's do a couple of these little guys in here that we practice these. So it's wicker white, 
and the sap and citrus. So citrus, sap green, and wicker white. So now what we did, remember, is that we leaned on the back corner and we did a cluster of those flowers or pods, whatever they are. And we're going to come all around here a little bit more white. See? And there's another little bit here because it's on the same stem. I'll put a little bit more. All right, so now we're going to go back and practice these flowers, okay, the blossoms. Now, what we want on here is we want citrus and white and a little bit of yellow ochre and moon yellow, all of it. <laughs> so I'm going to pick up yellow ochre, moon yellow, and white. And then we'll touch the citrus on that same edge that you're putting all that pretty color. All right. So you're going to stroke here and see if you see that. I think we need a little bit more citrus. There we go. All right. Now here's one, two, a little bit more white. Three, four, five. So, and then we layer these. So this layer goes on top of the first blossom. All right, and then all we do is take our two script liner and dot the center. Okay, so see how we're going to layer these starting at the back and coming forward. Okay. Put it right here to remind ourselves. And we are going to get those good colors again. The yellow ochre, the moon yellow. Put citrus green on there also. Now, let's start up here. And we're going to do the five petals. But then I can layer it by coming right inside of there and then finish it that time. All right. Just going to make little strokes. All right. Come right back in here again and pick up the white. Okay, so I'm going to do a couple other little sprays by picking up all those colors again to finish off our piece here. And then white. So now all we're going to do is continue to pick up white. I had so much fun today sharing how easy it is to paint these flowers. They turned out gorgeous. Remember, practicing on the reusable teaching guides right over my strokes gives you so much painting confidence. Thank you for joining me here in the studio. And remember, we just learned one more of the flowers from the A to Z one stroke floral painting sets. 
and I would love for you to take pictures and share them on our Let's Paint with Plaid Facebook group by hashtagging Let's Paint Challenge. Come on everybody, let's paint.